Hey everyone, Michael here. Today we're going to show you guys how to become validators on the ETHKL network to further set you guys up with these merge NFTs. So keep in mind that the snapshot is being taken at block 565505 and we are at block 524455. So there's still time. And you will need again kiln faucet ETH. And the previous videos we did, you needed an ENS name to use that faucet. But there's actually another faucet you can use. It will just take you four hours to collect the 32 ETH. So I'm going to link both of these below for you guys. And let's get started. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is come to the kiln launchpad. And you're going to click become a validator. And all you're going to do is check off each of these advisories so you click continue I accept I accept all right so after you accept those advisories you're going to click on nethermind and you can read through this I'll tell you a little bit about nethermind and we're gonna hit continue Next one we're going to click is Nimbus and continue. All right, so once you're on the generate key pairs page, you're going to set validators to one and then you will select your operating system and click download from GitHub. That will take you to this page. You'll scroll down and you're going to select the download that aligns with your operating system. So if we come back to this guide here, which I'll link below, there's an image that tells you which download goes with which operating system. So download. All right. So once you run that download file, you're going to see this screen. You may get a notification from your firewall like I did. I just clicked run anyways. And then we're going to select network up here and make sure we're on kiln. Okay, so next we're going to create a secret recovery phrase. So you click on this, click create. All right, so once you're on this page, you're going to see 24 words. Make sure you write them down and back them up. These are your secret recovery phrases. So I will click this copy button, click I'm sure, and then just copy those phrases in this box. Click check. Make sure your number of keys is set to one and then set your password right here in this box. So after we set our password, we're going to click next, retype it. Now you're going to choose a folder where you want to save your keys. So I recommend creating a new folder and saving your keys there. And then we will click create. All right, so our keys have been created. Now we can close this window and we'll go back to the kiln launch pad and scroll to the bottom of this generate key pairs page. And check, I am keeping my keys safe and I've written down my mnemonic phrase. Continue. So at this point, we're going to upload our deposit data JSON file into this box. And then we will click continue and connect our MetaMask. After we connect, we will hit continue again. And so now we will check off the risk and you can read through these. Make sure you aren't being fished. Check this off. And then protect yourself against double deposits. Check that you understand and continue. So this is the final step. We will click confirm deposit. And confirm. And continue. So your stake has reached the deposit contract and you are now a validator on the kiln network. So now 
when the merge NFTs are distributed, you will be eligible for the validator NFT. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. If it was helpful, subscribe below. Let me know if you have any questions and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye for now.